Joining us for a few minutes is United States Senator Dr. Bill Cassidy. Hey, Dr. Bill, welcome back to Keel. How are you doing today? I'm glad to be back. I am doing fantastic. How are y'all? Okay, Good. first of all, we know you are pressed for time because you've got like an 8.15. So when you got to go, just kind of interrupt us and go, yeah, we got to go. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so you've been to the border, the United States-Mexico border. You've been down there. You've seen the holding facilities. You've been face-to-face with, let's be blunt, the controversy. Tell us about your trip. It was a really remarkable trip. Um, So what has happened is that not to be partisan, but to lay out like it is. Congressional Democrats have not given money to ICE to create beds. So folks are detained. They come in a holding cell, if you will, by Border Patrol, and they've got no place to send them. And so you get more and more and more people, and you end up at overcapacity, and then Democrats come down and say, congressional Democrats come down and say, isn't it terrible we're at overcapacity? Of course it's overcapacity. You won't agree with Republicans to give more beds for where to send the folks. Uh, I think uh, congressional Democrats are more concerned about having an issue to campaign on than they are about finding a solution to the problem. Senator, what's the top priority there? Is it cash? Uh, cash is short term because you got to do something when you are double bunking and triple bunking. You got to. On the other hand, long term, intermediate term, we've got to change the laws. We've got a set of laws which basically encourage people to immigrate to the United States. It's no longer just Central Americans. They, uh, we walk in, uh, where are you from? Cuba and Venezuela. Uh, by the way, they're catching folks from Cameroon, from Haiti, from Somalia, from China, India, Russia, Pakistan, Bangladesh. I mean, it's now the United Nations coming across the Texas border because our laws encourage them to do so. But, Dr. Bill, aren't the Democrats really just at the end of the day implementing a, what's it called, the Cloward and Piven theory? We'll just, we'll just overwhelm the system and break it down so, so we can get our way. Well, you know what the terrible thing is? If that's what they're doing, then they're collaborating with drug cartels. Because drug cartels use the fact that our Border Patrol is stretched so thinly, catching folks coming here illegally, then the, then they can more easily sneak across drugs. Uh, so we're, up, we're, you know, we're out at like um, 10, 10 or 11 at night with Border Patrol trying to capture people. And they know that there's this group of, of, of men uh, in these cane fields. They have dogs trying to get them out. And all of a sudden over the radio you hear 1046 coming across. Well, that's a drug shipment. And so while all this is taking place, Border Patrol is isolated, then comes across the cocaine or the methamphetamines, et cetera. So um, we've got an issue. And if Democrats are doing that, then they could not be collaborating even better with the folks on the other side who are trying to destroy our nation with illegal drugs. Ocasio-Cortez, other members of the squad, their concentration camps, people are drinking out of toilets. We're the, not giving them water. The situation is inhumane. It's not CS. Did you see any of that? So I did not. You do see overcapacity, but that goes back to what I was speaking of. Those are detention cells. Imagine, Aaron, last time you were arrested by Shreveport police, uh, they brought you to, I'm just teasing, Aaron, they, they brought you to a detention cell, but then you quickly moved to the jail, and from there you moved someplace else. Uh-huh. The equivalent, Border Patrol takes people caught at the border, they're bringing them to a holding area that's supposed to only hold people for 30 hours, but they've got no beds to send them to, no next place to go, because those are run by ICE. And the squad and the Democratic Party following the squad refuses to give funding, to agree to funding for these extra beds. So there's no place for the detention, the holding area, the temporary holding area to send people. And it just gets more and more and more full. So, um, again, I'll go back to what I said earlier. I think the Democratic Party following the lead of the squad is more interested in in having a campaign issue than in finding a solution. 